Welcome to another episode of Marketo Chat. Hi, I am Chiranjit Shah from Marketo Chat. And in this video, we will discuss about naming convention. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to Marketo Chat and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notification whenever I upload new video. If you see any value in this video, hit like, share your thoughts, share the video link with your peers and friends. So without further ado, let's get started. Naming convention is paramount in order to keep your Marketo instance organized. It will come handy when you build your campaign performance report. Without a proper naming convention, soon your Marketo instance can become messy and unorganized and difficult to work on and find information in your Marketo instance, which lead to delay in executing campaign and reporting campaign performance. You may think, what's a big deal? Naming convention, isn't it so obvious? But you might be surprised to know that even Fortune 100 MNCs do not have a written naming convention that is followed across organization, which eventually lead to messy and unworkable market instance. Therefore, it is significant to have a written naming convention and making sure it has been followed by all who work on your market instance. Now that you understood the significance of written naming convention, let's discuss how to build for your own organization. First, understand from your stakeholder what they care about most. From a reporting standpoint, if they would like to report on the basis of product of interest or a geographic region or anything else, make that a part of your naming convention so that you can easily report on that. Here, I recommend you using a, a naming convention that is start from a region the program type and followed by year month and date and a sweet program description this sweet program description should not have more than five words to describe what this program is all about here is an example uh, how the program name would look like uh, my region is apac the program type that I want to use is webinar. I have used WBNR. You can use any format that suits your organization and your need. I have seen people using WB or even more shorter word to denote what program type it is. But have that written somewhere so that it is consistent across your organization. Followed by year that is 2020, 05 and 30 and double dash and then the program type program description here i have learned, this is an example program description learn market or best practices make sure do not use any special character on your naming convention like dollar sign copyright and any of the other special character if you are building a test program in your market instance make sure that you use test uh, at the starting of your program program name so that when we are building a report we can exclude any program that contain test or periodically we can remove them all the test program from your market instance to keep instance clean it is a good idea to have a very similar rule for landing pages you should remove all the unnecessary text from your landing page url for example in this particular url you should have a, your domain name and only the program description you should remove anything like a pack webinar date from your naming convention in a landing page url this will help you rank in seo similarly for thank you page you should add thank you at the end of your landing page so that when you report you can exclude any thanking uh, thank you page from your reporting now i have pre-built a program using a naming convention since it is a test I have used test in front of this program as a prefix so we know that this is a test program that I have created under test folder similarly if tomorrow I have to delete all the test program after the testing has been done I can search test in my search bar and that way I will find all the test program that have been created in my Marketo instance and if I decide to delete all of them I can do that so let's review what this program naming look like so here we are using a two digit code to denote our region so this campaign is a global campaign so we are using GL to denote that this is a global campaign and then 
content the program type is a content program so we have written ct to uh, understand that this program is content followed by the year month and date and a sweet description of the program what this program is all about so this program is talking about the benchmarking report that we had for PostgreSQL. now let's see how we can make edits on our landing page url so if you want to edit your landing page url you will select the landing page that you want to make edit in the way url you will hit and you will find url tool and you will need to go to url settings under url settings you can find an option which will look like this and for example if you don't want this uh, here you can simply select them and remove and now you have a clean landing page url that only contained your domain name and the short description of your uh, program description that will help you rank in a SEO so this was a short discussion about the naming convention I hope you find it valuable and you really like it if you have any comment please do feel free to share that in comment box I regularly monitor any comment uh, if you send you can also personally send me any message on LinkedIn if you need to reach out to me thanks a lot for watching see you in the next video Thank you.